Good morning, New York. It is a beautiful, perfect spring day here in New York City, right? It's a beautiful day to come out and celebrate science. I'm Dr. Amber Martin, and I'm a psychological scientist. I study human behavior and thinking, and I work at Hunter College right on the other side of Central Park. Any Hunter College people here today? Yes, wonderful. In my work, I study how people learn language and how language shapes our way of thinking. I work with and collaborate with many other deaf scientists and their work contributes vital information to our field. And deaf people and many other underrepresented groups are still quite underrepresented in scientific disciplines. In the past, deaf people have largely been the objects of study. People have studied how we learn and how we think. But now we are becoming the scientists. We are asking questions of our own community and of ourselves. And in fact, today, at March for Science is around the country, there are four different deaf speakers at other March for Science is around the United States. Yes, very exciting. So why is it so important that we are included as scientists? And the reason is because science is shaped by the people who do it. Science is not just about what we know. Science is about the process of how we know what we know, the investigation. It's right. Science is a process of asking questions, making observations, and making important interpretations and what these observations mean for people's everyday lives. And so in science, we depend on people to ask those questions, people to make those observations and determine what they, they mean in our lives. And that's where all of you come in. We have to be participants in that process of making these discoveries about our world and our environment and ourselves. We need to be involved in that process because it's about us. So if any of you might be in high school or you just entered college and you're wondering about science and you're curious about where to begin, there are so many organizations, fellowships, and programs that really support in emerging scientists, especially those from underrepresented groups. For example, for deaf college students around the country, there's a program called Bridges to the Doctorate Program. And that helps to prepare undergraduate deaf students for programs in science. Yes, thank you. Thank you. And for other groups as well, for Chicanos and Native American students, there's an organization called SACNAS, Society for Chicanos and Native Americans in Science. And that supports those populations to enter scientific disciplines. For black students, there are many, many multiple STEM organizations and scholarships, like Neuroscience Roadmap Scholars. There are so many programs out there that support those students who are motivated and eager to study science. Also, there are tons of local and national organizations for college students with disabilities. There are many programs that support and encourage those students to study science. For example, thank you for the time. <clears throat> the National Center for College Students with Disabilities and the, higher, the Association on Higher Education and Disability. 
At Hunter College, we have many programs that support underrepresented students, like the RISE and MARC programs. So ultimately, I want you all to get involved in science. And ultimately, science is about us. Science is about people. And science is about all of you. Science needs you. And inclusive science is better science. Thank you all.